Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing this lovely little tent which is from Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder. It's actually on the um, on the French flap of the cover of the book um, and uh, I thought I would have a go with my Stedler Ergosoft pencils. Now obviously I'm going to grab my red first because I think this tent is going to be red and white striped. So I'm going to start by colouring each of the red stripes so and I'm just going to do a really even layer well as even as I can manage and this just helps me to start with to sort of mark out what's going on really now I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the top the same or not because they meet in the middle I've got to be careful with the amount I'll show you I'll have to count it out in a minute it might be a good idea to start in the middle at the top now this has got four pieces which is a bit tricky and I'm gonna do this piece here in the red Oops. and then it'll be this piece here but not that end one the same, oops, let's just fill that bit in, and the same here, just seeing if you can see, which you can. Okay, now that we've got the very top, we've got that. I might make those two match, and I'm trying to think. Um, I think I'm going to do the outside ones. I'm sort of opposite the, um, And this one is actually not going to match, it's going to be the inside ones. There we go. And we've got these curtains which I'm going to do that one. And this one. Now we're going to look at how to shade this to make it look more interesting. So I'm going to start the top with putting some more layers on and at the bottom here. So we've got a sort of shading effect going on and the same here, that would be darker here. But I'm also going to do some dark coming up from there. I think it just makes it look more interesting. And the same on this one. Here. Now obviously the white ones are white but we still want to do some shading on them so they don't just because they would have some shadow so we will do that in a minute so we're not just going to leave them totally plain so you can see what I'm doing I'm just doing exactly the same on every one it's quite straightforward. Okay, I'll just put my pencil down Oops, and I'm going to grab number 80, which is the light grey, and we're going to do a bit of shading on the white, only gentle. Just a little indication, a little hint that there's some shadow going on there. And hopefully from a distance you'll barely see it, but it just makes it look the same as the other. And I'm just going through it all. And even here, like a little bit each end of there. Now we've got a lot of bunting and flags going on here as well, so we need to think about the colours for those. Now I'm not sure what sort of colours would normally be on a big top type circus tent like this. Because I've never been to a circus. That almost looks slightly silvery. I think is okay. Now we've got these 
knobs and bits of bobs which I'm going to actually do in a dark grey and make them look slightly metallic. The dark grey, sorry, it's number 77. So I'm going to go around that circle and then try and leave a bit of a white gap. The same with that one. And these. And here, just fade it towards the middle. Here. So it's all done in the same sort of way. And here. And here. Okay. And I'm going to do the stars quickly now because I still haven't decided what I'm doing with the bunting. <laughs> now I'm going to actually do them in number 16. It's more of a goldy colour. And for me that's quite fun. Yes, I think I've decided now what I'm doing with that bunting. I'm going to do a, var a variety of colours. I'm going to do... I'm just going to grab some. Bear with me. I'll just pop them down so you can see what I'm doing as I go. And... Hmm. I think that... Like a sort of rainbowy effect. So we've got four and four, so that's good. We've got four and a bit and four and a bit there. Mm. We'll start with the top. We'll start with our green. I've picked number 52. Now I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to block in some colour. And I want this to be quite bright, so I'm going to do quite a few um, layers here. And I'm going to do the same on this one on the far end. And here as well. Now we've got three on there as well. Um, hmm. Do I do those green? Um, 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 I'll wait a minute and have a think. So I'll just put that one down. Now I'm going to go for my orange. I've picked number four. There are other oranges. I particularly just like this shade. There's no other reason why I've picked it. going to go for my blue which is number 30. Now I've gone for a light blue for a reason because I'm thinking about our sky and background and you'll see later what I'm doing with that. Okay and then this is our pinky purple which is number 61. This is really simple colouring, it's just, you know, filling the gap with colour. Now the last two, I'm looking at what I think it needs, I'm thinking yellow, um, yeah, so I'm going to go for number one and I'm going to really push some colour down there so you can see it, it's not always that easy to see yellow and I'm going to do that yellow on here as well and then I just need to pick one colour for the centre and hmm, lilac I think I'm going to go for the lilac 62 always goes quite well with yellow I think and we need a colour for our flag I don't want anything to hmm, I wonder what colour it would be I'm thinking it would be red so I'm going to go for number 29. I'm just thinking about what I think would sort of look right in a circus. And I think a red flag would be one that would stand out. And I'm just gently covering it in a layer of red. And then I'm going to think about the fact that this is behind. It's going to be a bit darker. This is going to be a little bit darker because it's further back. And maybe the bit near the pole might be a little darker than that bit. There we go. It's not all the same shape, the same darkness of red. I think it gives it a bit of interest. Now, we do have these dots and we have the inside. Of the inside, I want to make it look quite magical. I'm going to take some purple to start with. 
and colour in. I don't want it to be black because um, it'd be dark in there. But I want, I think, having a sort of purple colour makes it look more interesting. I'm putting quite a hard layer down. You can see I'm on my second sort of layer of purple. I want it to look quite dark. I'm going to keep going with that. Keep. I'm pushing quite hard. This is a bit of card that I'm colouring on, remember, because it is the French flap, so it can take a bit more pressure. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to come in with a pen at the end, do a few highlights in the sky. Now, I'm going to use this dark blue, which is why I avoided dark blue for the bunting, because I knew what I was going to do. I'm going to hold it on its side and I'm just going to do a small layer. Now I'm going to go over these circles because I've got a white gel pen and what I want to do is to make it darker around the edge of the tent and then sort of slowly fade it out towards the bunting here. I don't want too much. I certainly don't want a sort of thick dark layer but we will take it, we need to take it up here. You can see by using the edge of the pencil, I've got more control over doing a lighter layer. I'm gonna go slightly outside of there. A little bit here. And sort of try and gently fade it out. It's quite hard when you've got a dark color Fade it out. It's always going to be a line. I don't want it going too high because we've got a picture above which I will be colouring. I won't be doing it on video because it's one I've already done that was in Flourish. If you look at my playlist for Worlds of Wonder you'll find there's quite a few videos in it that I made for Flourish and they're the same. The pictures are in here so um, I moved them over. Well I put them into this um, into this playlist as well so that um, if people want to do those pictures then they can see the video. Now I haven't done it dark around the building yet on this side, I'm just doing a light layer. It's a bit more awkward, I haven't done it there either and I'm going to just do that. and I didn't do it so much up here either. You can see once you've got a layer down it's quite easy to just add to it. This is going to be a bit awkward. Normally I would turn the book a little bit but I can't so forgive me if it looks a bit scruffy. It's going to take my time. So I hope everyone's okay. I hope they, I know there's been some delay with some people getting their books, which is frustrating, but uh, it is worth the wait. I um, was very lucky. Mine was, really, mine was sent out early um, by the place I bought it from. But uh, as I explained in my flip through, um, I think that still needs a little bit more dark, um, a little bit more color on the edge. Now, I'm going to grab a white gel pen. I've got three sizes here. Um, this is the brand that I use, um, Jelly Roll. I don't know if it's going to come into focus. Now, the five is the teeny, the eight is the normal one that you can tend to buy loose if you're in hobby craft, and the 10 is quite big. The 10 is great, so I'm going to use it for the dots and show you, because it's very splodgy and it has a generous amount of paint in it and it doesn't tend to clog up very much. I don't know how well it's going to perform on this card, it seems okay. So that's that one. Now I'm going to go in with the five. Now the five, because it's little, it um, does clog up. It takes a bit of work to get going. I'm going to do these dots, you see they are small, so I think it 
looks a little bit more magical with a few dots. I might do them all through actually. There we go. So that's that's the um, circus tent. I, I love the, how Johanna's drawn it. I think it's so cute. So I hope I've done it justice. But uh, it was great fun anyway. Lovely fun to colour. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And happy colouring. <laughs>